you can take the beautiful lady out of Arizona, but the effective Canadian and Iranian is here and everything else. That's very pretty. Thank you. Yes, those are all, that's from Arizona. In fact, this is, uh, Dick gave me this, the closing of the season last year. Uh, uh, Arizona must hold some very fond memories for you now. Well, <laughs> the nicest one really is that I'm home in Los Angeles. <laughs> I see. Now, I, now I can reflect on and, and, and uh, it was it was very nice but uh, that well spoke volumes I guess you <laughs> could leave it at that you know a year ago TV Guide uh, quoted somebody as calling you a synergistic person a synergistic person yes do you Seems, um, I think if one looks at it as a, a commercial thing and accepts it on that basis, it's yeah. fine. But I don't think we should delude ourselves um, into thinking that one actor is better than the other one or anything like that. I mean, I, I don't think that's what acting is about, and I think it's unfair to pit them against each other. Are you essentially a competitive person? No, I don't think so. I really don't. I mean, if I'm playing a game, Sure, I'm competitive. I want to win. I want to win. But in any case, in any sense of the competition, I want to do the best job that I can do. And it's the best job that I can do. Do you think that? Well, I like to think about it. I didn't mean it in those terms. No, I, I, I think I'm a pretty realistic person, but I certainly can get very sentimental at times. You're a fine actor, and you're capable of playing the game. I understand you were some apples. I heard something called dog. That's true. I.O. writers do. He's uh, the dog walker of President Roosevelt's dog. And uh, that happened um, quite a few years ago in New York. Uh, we had a restaurant, and Mrs. Roosevelt had an apartment about a block away, and she would walk Fala past our restaurant, and he would just not budge from the door because he would smell the food. And um, through that, she became a customer, and uh, a relationship started up between Mrs. Roosevelt and my mother. And then she asked me if I would walk follow, that she needed someone to do it, and I was honored. Then your interest both in animals and in restaurants comes honestly, huh? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, and uh, we have two dogs at home, a shepherd and a poodle. My daughter has a horse. Didn't continue acting. I yes, I would go back and see if I could take a whole show. A whole show of picking up certain Kabuto and moving on and back to seven to ten. It's a revolutionary move from move to from by ten to Arizona. Everything was keep doubling my cash for those people and now going back to some Kabuto. Uh, I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea that we're here. I think that there are less more opportunities, new kinds of stories, new situations. And uh, one of the reasons, other than that, for moving is that uh, we really wanted Carl Reiner to produce the show. And Carl said, terrific, but you came to California. Said, you come to China. You also have some new members of the cast. One of whom happens to be one of my favorites, and that's Big Boy Richard Branson. He's lovely. Very, very talented. Very, very Where there's Dick Van Dyke, there's a whole line. Well, I see. Thank you. Thank you. 